Okay, let's make, let's start making our bassinet top for the Baby Yoda. So this is going to be this piece right here. And it's um, pretty simple. It starts out um, just like the Baby Yoda's head. So the same techniques, except this time instead of the E hook, we're going to be switching to an F hook. We need to make it a little bit bigger so that it'll fit around Baby Yoda. Um, so I've got my gray yarn here. I'm going to put it in my bowl and let's get started. So it's just the same, same thing. We're going to do that magic loop where we um, hold the yarn on the two fingers, bring it over to make an X, flip the fingers over go underneath and then turn the head down grab that second yarn pull it through give it a twist and then grab yarn over pull it through the loop snug it up okay there's our working loop and we're gonna or our magic loop sorry uh we're going to do five in there five single crochets so one two three, four, five. I'm going to go a little bit faster in this one because I'm, I'm assuming if you've watched the previous video where I explained it a little more slowly. Uh, so this, these are the same kinds of stitches. So you should have a little more experience now. We got one, two, three, four, five. Grab our stitch marker, put that there. Okay, and we're going to go on, uh, use both loops. So put that head, uh, the head of the hook. Now you have to, I've got, I'm holding my finger there to kind of give it a base to kind of wiggle. It's a little tight. And then yarn over, pull through, do a single crochet. And then same stitch, you're going to yarn over and pull through. There's two. And then another increase, increasing all the way around so that we have 10 when we finish. And as far as my choice of yarn, I'm trying to remember, I think this is Vanna's Choice, the line brand Vanna's Choice. Uh, I can't remember the name of the, of the yarn color. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Let's move that up. We're going to do, uh, so for this round three, we're going to single crochet two in the next, single crochet, single crochet in the next, single crochet, repeat five times. So yeah, just like the other, we're going to do single crochet two, and then a single, and then single crochet two, and then a single, single crochet two, and a single, single crochet two, and then a single, and a single crochet two, and a single. All right, there's the end of round three. Well, let's move the marker up. And round four, we're going to single crochet two in the next single crochet, and then single crochet in the next two single crochets. Repeat five times for a total of uh, 20 stitches. So there's one, two, and then three, and then four. So an increase and then two singletons. And so we're going to go so increase and then in one, that's a tight stitch there. One, two, and then an increase and then one, two, increase and a one and a two. And last repeat, we're going to increase, and then a one, and a two. And then you'll want to, of course, count your stitches at the every, end of every round. I'm going kind of fast. Like I said, I'm going kind of fast. I'm not counting, or you know, like I would recommend, just to speed things up for the video. All right, move that up. Now we are going to make 25 round by, we're going to single crochet two in the next, single crochet, and then single crochet in the next three single crochet. So we're going to do an increase there in the first one and two, just there. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So that makes a 
a pattern of uh, makes a some that makes five, and then we're going to repeat that sequence by going increase, and then one, two, three, okay, and then increase. And then one, two, and three, and then increase, and then one, two, three, and then the last one, increase, and then one, two, and three, and we're at the end, so we've got 25 around, and of, of course you'll want to push it so that the right side of the stitching is is uh, on the concave part or is it convex uh, it's uh, on the outside part like so it's curving out this way and the loop is close to you like that all right now we get the easy part where you just go round and round for um, a total of five rounds now you might want to do just four rounds depending on the thickness of your yarn um, I would test it and see so I'm going to just I'll start this I'm going to skip ahead um, to about round nine and we'll see where we're at okay and we're back we I've finished rounds one through nine of the bassinet top and so now I'm going to test and see how it's fitting on the body. So if I put it over the top, um, you can see if it comes down to the row, the round where the dark brown starts, then that's a good fit. And I'm, I'm just going to leave it at nine rounds instead of going all the way to 10. Uh, because the bottom, when you do the bottom, that will come up just below the eyes. And so there'll be a little bit of overlap, a couple like a about a round or two of overlap. Um, so that's looking pretty good. Um, so what I'm going to do is just I'm going to cut this off with uh, just about four inches of extra there, and just pull it on through like so. And then this is, and I'm going to take the uh, this out, and it'll be ready for. Uh, I'll just set this aside. Now, uh, so the best net bottom. Uh, it's going to be the the very same as the best net top as far as going through to round nine. Uh, so I'm not going to demonstrate the best net bottom because it's just the same. So just uh, start your best net bottom just like you would the best net top. All right. Now in this part, I'm going to show you how to do the back post single crochet so that you can do. Uh, round 10 of the bassinet bottom for the Baby Yoda bassinet pattern. So here we are. We're starting this round. Let's put our stitch marker in. Now for the back post single crochet. Now normally you would go into the next stitch like so from the front. For this one we're going to start in from going under both loops from the back. And then we're going to pivot the head of the hook through that that post or around I'm sorry pivot around the post through the through the next stitch so you can see there's the back post right there so we're going to crochet around that by we're going to yarn over and pull through and yarn over and pull through there's our single first back post single crochet now we're going to go into this 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 stitch that we just went through forwards we're going to come backwards through like that and again we're going to pivot around the post go under the both loops of the next stitch so that we're catching that back post we're going to yarn over pull it behind the post two on the hook yarn over pull through okay and again uh, we're going to go behind uh, behind there for the back to the front pivot around that post go th both through under both loops yarn over pull underneath the post 
yarn over and finish the stitch. Okay, and you can see what what this does is it takes row nine, the top of row nine, and turns it so that the top is now showing to the side. And we're creating a new row of stitches within the back posts. So we're going to continue around, making sure we don't accidentally miss any stitches. And you'll want to make sure and count that you have 25 when you're done. So I'm going to quickly go around and finish this back post single crochet, which is written as BPSC in the pattern. Um, let's see if I get that right. Let's see. And what this is going to do is form a nice lip for the um, a lip around the edge of the bottom of the bassinet so that when you put the top on it rests against the lip and it makes a nice little finishing edge. I use the back post single crochet a lot when I'm making things like little crocheted pots for my cactuses. I have a um, what's it called? Cuddly Cacti Crochet Kit. Uh, with lots of pots in there made of yarn. All right, here we are, and then there's one more before we get to that stitch marker. We're gonna go around there. All right, okay, and let's count, make sure we're gonna count the make sure you're gonna kind of count the ones on top, not the ones on the side. So, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. All right. Now for the next round, or the last round, you're going to do some decreasing to tighten it up a little to create a snug little fit for Baby Yoda. So we're going to go one, two three single crochet and then we're going to do an invisible decrease so again we're going to go through the front loops only and then the front loop only in the next yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and then one two three and then a decrease so you'll have 20 by the time you get done or at this round so there's one two three Decrease and then one, two, three, decrease, and then finally one, two, three, and the last stitch will be a decrease, and then it brings us back to the stitch marker. There's our decrease. Okay, and that's the end of the Bassin at bottom for now, and um, you snip the end from the yarn uh, like so, and then now we're gonna pull that cut end through, and so you can see this is how it's gonna fit. I'm gonna put Mr. Baby Yoda in there, and there the top fits on like that. Okay, and I've, you can see I've already put one ear on. I'm going to show you how to sew the other ear on. There. Uh, let's, let's take the pins. Let's take a pin and make sure that the right side of the crochet is facing forward. Um, this is the wrong side. The right side tends to have kind of a natural curl look to it, like a uh, like you know, like a dog's ear or a cat's ear. Um, and make sure you're going to. Look, I like to look at it from the top to make sure it's symmetrical as I position it. And I'm going to position the, it right on the last row of the green before it transitions to the brown. And then see how, make sure it's even with the other. Maybe this side will go just a teeny bit up. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to grab our needle and Overlap that a couple inches and go through the body 
and I go through the air kind of back and forth about five or six stitches and try not to get tangled up with that long uh, pin as you go. Now at this point I can probably take it out and finish this up and you'll see I'm going to end up by where the that um, slip knot is. So what you can do is go right through that slip knot. You're going to pierce the knot to catch it like so and then snug it up secure it okay so that looks pretty good and then if you want you can do overhead knot or just uh, hide it in and then you're gonna hide the end in the body like so give it a snip okay and there we go now we need to finally hide this this tail end the beginning yarn so by the slip knot so then we're just going to take it and hide it in the stuffing pull it through get a little tug okay so that's baby yoda all done looking real cute and then when you put them in the bassinet as you're going to fold his ears in first like that all right so the la the next next thing you need to do we're going to um Weave in the ends. All right, so for example, we've got this beginning tail, and we don't want that just bopping around. So uh, what I'm going to do is take this and weave this up vertically through the rounds into the backs of those stitches, and make sure it's not showing through on the front, and then. You can go in one way and then you can come down through the same stitches like so and that creates enough um, <clears throat> weaving in that it won't shouldn't come undone very thorough okay and then um, let's do the other guy oh I've already done this one um, so now we want I want to have I've got this um I've got this tail left over. I want to keep that because I'm gonna sew a hinge between um so between the two. So what I can do is I can put this on and put the hinge in the back of you like so and then I'll take this and I'll find a little transition from the little step down area and match those up so that they're both in the back um, so that the smooth parts in the front oh let's see if I got that right yeah I just need to there we go all right so okay I match that up now when you're sewing this on make sure you don't catch Yoda in there you don't want to sew his back on there in fact you could probably take him out at this point but I'm gonna leave him in there just to Make it more firm while I'm sewing that hinge. So just sew back and forth about two or three stitches, like so. And maybe I'll sew this one as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then you could test it out and see how that's working for you. Again, making sure you don't catch Baby Yoda in there. Don't sew his back in there. All right, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to uh, just do a quick overhand knot and then weave it in. And then we'll be done. All right, so I'm going to use the top portion. And just weave it in the backs of the stitches like so. Again, making sure it's not showing in the front. So weave it in about half, about one inch one way and then come back the other way, about an inch. Okay, and then trim that off and 
close to the work. Okay, there we go. All right, so there it is. There's the there's the bassinet. It's a little little tall. Um, there we go. But that's gonna fit nicely, I think. And you can make this into a Christmas ornament if you want. Like maybe put a little um, hanger from side to side. Like maybe uh, from this side to this side to create a loop so it can hang on a tree for a Christmas ornament. Uh, or it makes a good stocking stuffer. You know, just pop it in your stock stocking. You don't even need to wrap it because it's already got its own little case container. All right. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, be sure to hit subscribe and like and leave comments below for things you might want to see in the future from me. Thanks.